Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video earlier this month that Microsoft had started testing adding passwords manually in the Edge browser, which basically means that this feature in uh, that version of Microsoft Edge Canary would negate the need for you to import passwords from another browser um, as an example. And I will leave a link down below to that video if you're interested. Now it looks like Google Chrome is following suit and they have now in a Google Chrome Canary, which is a pre-release version of the browser used for testing and experimenting, also started adding a very similar uh, feature where you can now add passwords manually in the uh, Canary version of the browser. Now, to get to this feature, the easiest would be just to go to your profile picture in the top right, click on the little uh, passwords key icon, and yeah, you will see a add passwords button. Now, I don't, I don't have any passwords saved in my um, Google Chrome Canary browser as I don't use it on a regular basis for everyday browsing. But to add a password, all you do is you click on add, you enter the site URL, your username and the password, and it says yeah, just make sure that you're saving your current password for this site. And as I say, um, as mentioned in that previous video, um, you know, this may, could help you if you don't want to import passwords from other browsers, as an example, to just avoid any junk or duplicates accumulating in your Google Chrome browser. Now, this is not available as yet in the stable version and has become available recently in Canary. So if this does roll down, which I think it would, because it's quite a handy feature, I th and this would roll down to the stable version over the next couple of months. Obviously, it's got to go from Canary to Dev to Beta and then to stable release. So just a quick video, once again, just to tell you that that option now to add passwords manually is also now available in the Google Chrome Canary version of the uh, Chrome browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.